Hey, this is Damon, the Global Gardener, in an amazing garden I've been stewarding, taking care of, planting. Uh, today we're looking at Liatris spicata. It's also called Gay Feather and Blazing Star. Um, it's in the, the Asteraceae family, surprisingly, with sunflowers. Uh, here are some older specimens. Uh, it's very unique because it is one of the flowers that blooms. It, it, uh, puts all the flowers at the top and then blooms downward, whereas most flowers like mint and sage, they just start blooming and they bloom all the way up. Um, these are actually spent flowers, and the flowers aren't actually like petals. These are the pistils of the actual flower, so they don't have petals. Um, oh, now you can see the tiny, oh, there's a honeybee. You can see the tiny uh, bits on there, star-shaped. Um, we're in amongst a lots, lots of uh, wonderful flowers in here. So here's another example of the flowers blooming, blooming from the bottom all the way to the top. This is a, a um, butterfly bush, and very beautiful one. I think it's like midnight purple or something. Uh, but we're in a sort of a field of the, again, Liatra spicata, native to North America, grows in like moist prairies and sedge type areas. Um, here's some lovely Jerusalem artichoke just to punctuate the color scheme. We're also here among the Caryopteris that is beginning to bloom. Quite lovely there. The, the leaves smell amazing too. Um, there's a rose bush I don't want to trounce through wearing shorts, but I did want to show you more of the Gay Feather Blazing Star Liatris. Here's some nice big ones. Big and full honeybees, European honeybees on them and other pollinators. I've seen I've seen hummingbirds roll up to them and inspect, poke around. There's more of the rubies beauties. Got some daylilies in here, a few more Liatris spicata, and then we'll get right up close with these. Oh, so lovely. Oh, they don't actually smell, but yeah, you can see the, the pistils are very fuzzy, kind of like my hairdo. Uh, and here are the buds. Their buds are at the bottom instead of at the top because they start opening at the top and then they bloom downward. It's kind of a really unique feature. There aren't, there are very few, this may be one of the only ones that does it that way. You can post in the comments if you know of other flowers that start blooming at the top and bloom downward. It's, it's an interesting thing to think about because the majority of flowers really are the opposite. Like here is Centranthus, the false valerian, or Jupiter's beard, I believe it's called. Um, and there, they started blooming at the bottom, do to do to do to do, and then they have just that little bit left at the top. Here are some other beautiful flowers. Also don't, well they smell a little bit. Here is some spirea. And they just keep blooming all summer, even the spent ones aren't too ugly yet to remove. I still have some structural loveliness. Here's a variety of Daphne. That was spectacular. But that's what I wanted to share with you today, the uh, Liatris spicato. One of my favorite flowers uh, for a long time, uh, largely because of that feature of blooming backwards, uh, but also they're a very lovely landscape plant. I haven't really seen them until here in Colorado where they're growing excellently. Uh, I just gave them some regular organic feed and they're rewarding handsomely. So there you have it, the Global Gardener on more adventures around the world. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.